If anyone's here, just say so. Now I want any trouble. So if you're here, I'll just go right now. It ain't dog food. So I didn't want any trouble, man. Yeah, I heard that before. It ain't dog food. This your place? Mm. No. We're just passing through. Got banged up pretty bad. Needed a place to lay low. 
Where are you headed? South Dakota. Family's got some property out there on the country. I figured if they were smart, that's where they'd head. Got shelters off the main road, weapons, and supplies. That's where I go. So that's where I'm going. You? Hmm. East. Minnesota. We heard, uh, uh, I heard that there was an outpost out there. Clock set up pretty okay. Better than anything I found out here so far. So. Well, how do you know if you're still there? How you know your family ain't dead? You know, I never ate the stuff when it was around, but you know what I'd kill for right now? Big Mac. Oh, oh hell yeah. You know, for me, case of high school beer. God damn. Now you're talking my language. You were, uh,. Traveling with people. Mm. Was, yeah. Few. Well, why aren't you with them anymore? If you don't mind me asking. They died. I didn't. How? All sorts of things, I suppose. Turns out the world's a pretty dangerous place when everything goes to shit. Uh, we weren't a big group, but enough. Mm. Eight? Nine? Uh, bandits and raiders got a few of us. The building collapsed on another fella. Poor guy fell eight stories. Uh, a few got sick in the winter, didn't make it. And then this one guy's... Little girl, Mira, she caught the infection. She was a sweet girl too, smart, good kid. Nobody was sure how or when she got it, but her daddy, good man too, he hid it for as long as he could, but You ever see someone with it? The infection? No. For stories, but it ain't pretty. They go insane, like mad like a dog with rabies. Everything just drives them out of their minds. And then they get violent. My daddy was a drunk. He used to be all sorts of mean when he'd come home from a night of drinking. And that little girl had the same look in her eyes my daddy did when he came home looking for a fight. A 12 year old girl, little kid, all the anger of the world behind her eyes. We put her in a room so she wouldn't hurt anybody, but of course she hurt herself. I watched her break every single one of her fingers on her own goddamn hands. Shit, man. And the worst thing about it was, the infected, they're not all gone. They come in and out of it, and we watched her come back. Looking down at her mangled hands, and then she was a little girl again. She was upset about what she did, like she had been drawn on the walls with a crayon or something. And she looks up at her daddy and me, and she says... Sorry. How could I let a little girl like that, a child, how could I let her live? And she started to turn back, back to the infection and... What'd you do?
And her, her father, he didn't try and stop you? No. He didn't say a word. After I just left him there with his daughter in that room, him and his daughter and my gun, I just left him. Look, ma'am, we're both heading east. Now, it's not safe to travel alone, so maybe we could... Listen, man, you seem like a decent enough fella. You've had your hand on that bat long enough. You could have bashed my skull in if you felt like it, but you haven't, and I appreciate that. But we're not friends. We're not pals. I'm sharing some food with you right now because I could use a little karma. That's all, man. You know, I used to think I was optimistic before this all happened. I've been alone since this whole shitstorm started. It's been just me when the loony began. When the quarantines broke, when people started tearing each other apart in the streets. And I tried to be positive thinking someone, somewhere, had a plan. That help was on its way. That this whole thing would end eventually. But the days... Man, the things that I've seen... And I haven't even seen half the shit you have. They've worn me down. Hope isn't a commodity I deal in anymore. Survival. Hours in the day. That's my currency now. I'm gonna fool myself and pretend like I'm gonna make it to that cabin and find my family. Hell, I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm gonna live long enough to make it to that cabin. I'm going because it's my last chance into believing something more than just staying alive. I know it sucks that your people died, it does. But man, look at the world. We're all dying here. And in the end, they had each other. They had you and you had them. They didn't die alone. That's gotta count for something. Nothing counts for anything anymore, man. <laughs>